Hi there, Cola. This deal, $850 million, uh, described as a landmark deal. In what way? Um, thank you. I think the most important thing is seeing the fruits of what the president and the federal government of Nigeria has been pushing for local participation of indigenous companies in the oil and gas sector. This brings a landmark position, one, because of the price and also looking at the precarious position of what the global equity and capital markets are today. Being able to do a deal of this quantum sends the right message that what the government is doing and more importantly is the beliefs that in Nigeria. If we look at uh, trends around the world at the moment in mineral exploitation, there is a growing voice that uh, the countries where mining companies are operating are not getting enough uh, benefit from it. There's the term beneficiation, we in South Africa hear a lot about it, and there's a kind of uh, increasing resistance to companies coming in, even if they do pay high taxes. So there's a symbolic and political effect, uh, not just uh, an oil industry effect here. I think the drive is governments trying to make the right statement, saying local participation with the right types of local partners that passes all types of smell tests will attract the right type of capital in doing the right types of deal on the continent, right across board. The natural resource gain has always been a belief for the local people, with the local people, and the reality is making it work by governments would ease the tensions in a lot of areas, making sure you could see visibility the local participations in this areas of business. What would that local participation mean? Because, uh, put it simply, you would expect a foreign company coming in and taking the oil out and paying some taxes, perhaps, uh, to take a different approach to a local company which is under obligation to make a difference to communities, to the economy generally. H how do you propose to go about that? Now, the difference is this. Shoreline Natural Resources is the vehicle that's been created by Shoreline, our company, and Heritage PLC. It tells you our commitment. For myself, being a Nigerian, my commitment primarily is to our people. And the most important part of it is trying to make sure the benefits from any venture actually benefits our people directly, vis-a-vis -vis training of the local people, putting a lot of infrastructure on ground in the local towns and villages in making sure they see the benefits of the natural resource that we have been blessed with as Nigerians. Looking at the oil price, it's been moving uh, down quite rapidly in the last couple of months from the mid-120s down to the 90s. It went down almost to below 90 and it's recovered now to the mid-90s. To what extent do your big decisions like this, uh, do, do you have to uh, keep an eye on the oil price or do you just say look it's not something we can control this is a good investment let's go for it I think the importance of it is not something we can control. The key driver is the importance, the significant importance of this investment. Of course, financially, you've run your financial models in making sure what makes sense and at what level the whole transaction makes sense. But the reality, as you all know, is there is a global recession and higher oil prices can only further accelerate that, right? So the, the key for us is to keep this position in the right balancing in making sure it works uh, and for us the price does not matter the transaction is what matters and the more important part of it is how this adds value and to betterment of the lives of our people an opportunity too for you to get uh, as a new a new vehicle a new company to uh, get governance systems in place and to really uh, set an example in an industry they always say the oil industry and the arms industry the two where corruption flourish you're right, but the, the key difference for us is this. If you, you can imagine for this quantum of money following a company called Shoreline and Heritage in the background, you can imagine the process and due diligence we've gone through. I give all kudos to Standard Bank of South Africa with their quantum support of this transaction. Also JP Morgan for the huge support to this transaction. This can only tell you the level of quality of governance we come with and the quality that we choose to deliver as partners in partnership with Heritage PLC, understanding what the global norms of such transactions are. And this we will not deviate for us. It's a focus. It's a landmark transaction. More importantly, it's a game changer for Shoreline as a group.
That was uh, Kola Karim, CEO. Thanks to Kola. He is CEO of uh, Shoreline Energy.